Hey, what's up, it's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital, Vital, Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting some ruin, drowning blood. It was requested, so I sought it out, and Head Split Records answered the call. So, got to pick up a copy and not have to pay import prices, which was pretty sick. And this is some of the best death metal from last year. Seriously, sick as fuck. This is some awesome, awesome stuff. I know Blood Harvest did the um, LP. And uh, this is Von Frost Records who uh, distributed it elsewhere along with uh, No Never Near records sorry to <laughs> near one records my bad but uh yeah this is fucking great seriously awesome awesome death metal can't recommend that enough and uh today's episode is sponsored by ginger snacks if you go and see blood incantation on this upcoming tour bring some vegan candy for the boys they will appreciate it, trust me. Just go over to the merch table and say, hey guys, here's some vegan treats, enjoy. And yeah, it would be very much appreciated for those guys, I'm sure. And yeah, just anytime you can help a band out on tour, do it. But um, today, I wanna talk about fucking an amazing band from the 90s. Well, they started in 1986 with a series of demos that Nuclear War Now has released. And I remember when I first heard them, I was like, ah, like, this is all right. I only heard the demos at this point. And then, um, I think it might be in Vastum Carnal Law, Dan Benson is, uh, wearing a blood t-shirt. And I'm like, all right, there has to be, like, something more than what I'm hearing. And, yes, I'm pretty new to blood, but once I found out about this band I stumbled upon this album first and that is I'm sorry if I say this wrong Oh Agios Pathanine oh fuck is this good <laughs> head split records reissue holy fuck this is so sick 20 songs of just some of Germany's finest death metal fucking grind so many different genres of music all bundled up here it sounds amazing it looks amazing oh my god i fucking love blood seriously this band is just so ahead of their time and like if you dig grind and like death metal with like a more original kind of outlook on it and like kind of an original sound as well like yeah if you like dead infection blasphemy atrocity early carcass autopsy vastum neck rot asphalics depression from germany stuff like that you are going to eat up every single riff on this fucking monster right here oh agos Pathane is just one of those albums that fucking gets you in a stranglehold and will have you flipping sides repeatedly. I think I've played this since yesterday well over 17 times. Like, no joke, I just kept flipping it over and like would be like, that was so sick, what track was that? And yeah, this is so fucking badass. Like, every song on here is just fire. Some of them might consist of just, like, two riffs and a couple blast beats, and that's it. But just the way that they fucking get that knuckle-dragging kind of pummeling death metal sound that you hear Ruin doing right now. Blood does that so fucking well. Like, it sounds amazing, and you can definitely hear... A vastum like influence from blood in that aspect especially but you also get some super super gnarly lyrical content as well as like some serious serious 
monstrous vocals. Like, the vocal delivery on here is just beastly. Just diving into the deranged mind of fucking human rot, chaos, death, and just other ghastly human fantasies and realities. It's fucking sick, like... Blood really, really, you know, kind of hit a nerve at certain points on this album where I was reading along with the lyrics and I was like, this is awesome. Like, seriously, besides the riffs and everything and the vocals, the lyrical content was just, uh, oh, I loved it. Just disgusting, oh, awesome. This is a literal fat-free release of just inhuman viciousness in sonic form that is Germany's blood 1990 fucking 3 this was originally released and I'm so glad Head Split Records exists because they seriously when it comes to underground music like this you know they are on top of what is fucking fire and normally like it's to me, another one of those seal of approval record labels. Like, if you're getting something from Head Split, chances are it's going to be filthy, heavy, and fucking awesome. And you're going to get your shit within a week. Like, every time I order from the other side of the country, Dylan gets this stuff here so fast, hooks it up with stickers, all sorts of goodies, flyers... Fucking, I need to start grabbing some Maggot Stomp stuff as well. Maggot Stomp make awesome, awesome pins. No weak shit. But let's get back to blood and how fucking good Oagos Pathine is. I've probably said the name of this album differently like six times. But here you have a semi-normal promo photo. And then there's some live photos where it's like, oh, straight up look like a fucking like you know war metal band in these photos they have the war paint on and everything sorry i know that's blurry but awesome awesome shit here from germany look at that fucking logo sick damn i don't know why that's fucking blurry you can't really see it too well i apologize but yeah I love Blood's logo, these pictures are great, and again, just fucking killer, killer, like as underground as it fucking gets, raw as fuck, yet just awesome, awesome fucking production as well, like it matches exactly, you know, the music, like, this is something that if it was like super well polished, would not sound the same at all. The grinding fucking filthiness, it, it's part of the charm, and it's part of what makes this release from Blood so fucking good, and I'm like seriously obsessed with this. I, I don't think it gets much better, like, when it comes to Blood's material as well, I think this is some of their best, but, you know, be your own, uh, make up your own mind on that, check out their discography, but... This 1993 release here, to me, fucking, oh my god. All killer, no filler, literally, like, they fucking sliced off any fat off of this release. Like, there's not one riff that, you know, is just like a filler riff that's just there. Kind of like as a placeholder that they forgot to get rid of. Everything on here has a purpose, everything has a meaning. And it's grinding, dirty, punk-driven, pummeling, fucking, ghastly death metal. That's the best way to fucking describe blood. And it's fucking great. And if you're into that type of deranged fucking metal, then, you know, you have no excuse not to check this out because it's fucking great. From the inhuman vocals to the just total filth within to the riffs, to the amazing drum performance. This is just one of those re releases that everybody needs in their life in some way, shape, or form. I chose the cassette format because I, don't, I didn't even check on how to get this on LP 
or anything like that. I'm happy enough with the tape at the moment. And I, I'm really happy with the way this ruined tape sounds, but this, oh my god, Head Split Records just killed it with 31 minutes of benchmark brutality and darkness from Germany. Evil, grinding, punky death metal. It's fucking sick. Totally knuckle dragging, caveman. Oh, just fucking listen to blood and you will understand exactly what I mean. 20 tracks of pure fucking filth, sodomize the weak, just so fucking awesome. But God Left the World and like Divine Seed, amazing, amazing tracks. Christ Bait, Cannibal Ritual, which is one of my favorites. Submission, every track on here is fucking great, seriously. Stream of Anguish, the outros and intros are just haunting as fuck. Truly, truly some sinister stuff here from Blood. And this 1993 release and reissue of Oagos Pathine on Head Split Records. This is fucking 10 out of 10. Grade A. Essential, classic, underground filth. And yeah, if you're in the, you know, like I said... Dead Infection, all the way up to like Vastum even and stuff, Asphalix. Asphalix especially, there was a couple of riffs on here where I was like, whoa, that sounds like that one uh, riff from uh, God is Laughing from uh, their latest record, Decreation, and like, it's fucking sick. Like, you can hear a lot of bands, you know, took influence from Blood and it's fucking sick. This is some killer, killer stuff here. I can't recommend this enough. And yeah, 31 minutes of just awesomeness. Get into it. Head Split Records release. Fuck yeah. Oagos Pathine. Get into it. And again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce that. But this is just pure fucking hellfire. And we've been blasting some more fucking literal analog hellfire. In the form of ruin. Drown in blood. This is just some amazing death metal. And uh, also, I got my old band's second full length in the mail yesterday by a old fan, which is awesome because I'm probably going to be re releasing a cassette version. So, I will give you guys details as I get them right now. It's up in the air, but it's gonna all be by me, hand done, everything. So, I'll find out how many num like how many tapes I wanna put out, all that, and I might try and get some artwork, but I might try and draw my own. Not sure, but it is, it is not going to be Skeleton Proof Tanks. It is going to be labeled under SPT. I always hated that name, so I'm just gonna go with the initials. Also, you know, yeah, whatever. But anyways, we've been blasting some ruin, drowning blood. I highly suggest checking this out. This is some amazing, amazing stuff. And blood, seriously. Oh, Agos Pathine, Head Split Records. Get it before it's gone. 20 tracks of amazing filth and as always you guys fucking rule thanks for watching i will have some gifts for you guys in the near future we're gonna do some more game days it seems like that was pretty fun but yeah thanks for watching <coughs>